Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, you guys know me. My name is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into any kind of news, I need you guys, I'm gonna tell you a story. Before I tell you the story, you have to promise to me you're not gonna laugh. So I woke up, I'm supposed to go to a 2K event. What's so funny, man? I woke up, supposed to go to this event, boom, looking for my passport. Where is my passport? Can't find my passport. I missed the flight and the whole event. Mans was chilling in the Hollywood Hills, playing 2K19 early with all the fucking content creators, and I was supposed to be there, and I missed it. I'm mad. I sent Ronnie this DM, I was like, my guy, I tried, bro. I just don't know where my passport is. I'm gonna have to get a new one. So, to all the people that saw that photo that Cash put up and said, 2K, fire, or he said something like that, and he's like, where is Agent? I was in Toronto miserable, throwing myself a pity party, eating some ice cream or something like that, all right? For our first story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K19, you can choose between what kind of shot meter you wanna have, ladies and gentlemen. You heard me correctly, you can choose between the 2K18 shot meter or the 2K17 shot meter. Now, there are some differences, they're not identically the same to the way they were in those games, but do you remember when Mike Wang put out the tweet and he's like, guys, what shot meter do you like best? And then most people voted 17, 16 was second, and 18 was third, do you guys remember that poll? I said in the, in the replies to that, I was like, yo, Mike Wang, just make it so that we can switch between them, bro. That's the best idea. So you can choose between 18, 17, or both, which, I mean, I don't know why you'd wanna have two different shot meters, but I guess if you wanna see as much green as possible when you're hitting your perfect releases, that's, that's an option. For our second story of the day, this one, it puts a smile on my face, guys, because you, you heard, did you hear? Okay, blow eyes and snatch bags aren't gonna be in 2K19. If, you, if you've been abusing them in 18 and you think you can get by in 19, uh-uh, that's what we're hearing, man. Now, they played on the 5v5 mode, so if you're playing Prime or Park or even my team, we're not entirely clear as to whether those animations exist in those modes, so if you play 2K18, the blow and snatchbacks are ridiculous on Pro-Am. They're less prevalent, but still ridiculous on Park, right? So the sliders do make a difference when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping, man, crossing my fingers, that it's not gonna make a return in those other modes that I love to play. For our next story of the day, defense is better in NBA 2K19. Uh, Fear Glizzy was putting out some tweets. Also, Annoying TV streamed. The gameplay on Twitch, which I was like, wow. The first time we get a chance to see 5v5 gameplay is a couple months before the game's launch and is from content creators. Usually 2K is like, nah, we've got to come out with the first gameplay ourselves. But I guess 2K maybe got tired of people leaking with horrible quality cameras in Gamescom with their little flip phone and they just kind of let people upload it. And so plenty of people did. LSK uploaded some footage, Jester uploaded some footage. Cash up uploaded some footage, so I'll leave Cash's link in the description because he probably had the clear smoke, high, my high definition gameplay that I've seen of all the people that went to the event, and you're looking at some on the screen right now as well. I know, I, the layups are crazy, bro. The layups are crazy. Whoa, there's no way that shouldn't have went in. That's crazy. What the fuck? All the links to the stuff I'm talking about are in the description. Annoying was probably the one giving out the most information through Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, but there's been a lot of content creators doing the same, so I got y'all. I could have been one of them, baby. I could have just, oh my God, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just depressed. Guys, gig, hey, cheer me up in the comments, something like that. On our next story of the day, the game feels more arcadey, Annoying says. So, remember when Mike Wang put out a poll? He was asking the people, guys, do you want the game to be complete simulation, complete arcade craziness, or in the middle? He asked people from a scale of one to 10, and uh, most people voted right down the middle. It seems like, unlike 2K18, there's gonna be a little bit more of an arcade touch to 19, which I like. It adds more of a fun factor. It even adds a little bit of a skills gap because you're almost detaching yourself from realism. Hey, if I want to play basketball in real life, 
I'm walking out the door. I'm heading to the gym with a basketball in hand in my duffel bag, right? I don't like this idea that every NBA 2K game, 2K game has to be next level realism, but it's like you can't perfectly emulate real life in a basketball game. So you're just gonna have wonky animations. You're gonna lose the fun factors. It's gonna ruin everything. So I'm happy to know that like 2K14, 15, even 16, they're kind of heading back into the direction of the more fun 2Ks. And I can only imagine if that's what they were feeling in play now, they're gonna feel it even more when they play on the park, which is why I'm excited about it. For our next story of the day, in one of Annoying's videos, he said that he was talking to Mike Wang and Mike Wang said he made shooting tougher next year. And there was a bunch of posts he put up about this, but I guess they're looking to actually introduce a skills gap to shooting so that the people who can time the shots the best will be the people that are more consistently hitting shots on the game. Annoying felt like the shooting was too hard when he was playing the demo. And uh, him and Los Polos, he said, was leaving people open, but they weren't hitting any greens. He said it was very challenging to hit a green. And he was talking to Mike Wang saying, you might have to make the shooting easier because if I can't hit greens, I don't even know how the casual player is gonna find a way to hit greens, unless of course they get incredibly lucky. So when it comes to a skill gap, it's pretty simple. If you make shooting incredibly easy, everybody's gonna be able to do it. There's no skills gap. But if you make it incredibly hard, as to the point where even the best players can't consistently hit it, then it's gonna be too hard and there's still gonna be no skills gap. There's always a sweet spot in the middle that you have to find and each game tries to find that sweet spot. So Mike Wang, I'm just, I'm just letting you know that just because you made shooting super hard does not mean there's a skills gap. I hope you've done your work to find the balance and uh, if you did, man, I'm gonna be so excited because you know that's my bread and butter, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I do. I'm a lights out shooter. So let me find out they have a skills gap. Allow me some time to master said skills gap, and 2K19 could be a whole lot of fun dropping folks off, man. Getting some clips and some plays that nobody's ever seen before being the first to do it! Oh, I love it! I'm trying not to get excited. This is how you get let down, man. You, you set your expectations way too high, so let me simmer down real quick. For the next story of the day, in NBA 2K17, they announced layup meters, and everyone's like, what? We have to time layups now? But as I played 2K17, I actually began to enjoy the layup meter. It's not necessarily like a meter the way you'd shoot. You just get a bonus if you release it better. But you don't get anything negative by releasing it poorly. In 2K18, you still had to release your layups, there was just no meter. And so in 2K19, it seems like they reintroduced the meter. Some people were super furious about it. I'm saying, bro, what are you talking about? If you can't time a layup, bro, then you won't even stand the shot timing shots. Some of y'all need to stop getting angry every single time 2K does something. <laughs> I'm the one saying that. Oh God, this is crazy. Uh, there was a tweet someone sent me and he was like, bro, agent, check this out, man. This was the 2K18 shot meter. They didn't change a thing, bro. Man, f I'm not buying this game. And he was like, bro, relax, my guy, relax. We don't know the details. What if they allow you to switch shot meters or something? You gotta calm down. And he was reacting from Ronnie2K's uh, Instagram story where it showed like the free throw shot meter. And they're like, bro, I hate 2 k shot meter, bro. I don't wanna use it. So long story short, give, some, give it time, guys. Let's get all the information before we begin to react, which is why I'm, I'm kind of cautious about the blow by and snatch back thing. We don't know if it's in the other modes. I don't have the full information just yet, so I'm staying calm. For our final story of the day, uh, ankle breakers are incredibly rare in 2K19. That's what we hear, right? I also heard the same thing for 2K18, and we can do, you can hit like 16 ankle breakers in a game in that game. So I don't know if things are gonna be different in the park pro -Am, my team, but word is that if you're a playmaker, it's not gonna be so easy to hit those ankle breakers, which is a good or a bad thing, a good thing if you think that rarity makes it fun so that when you actually hit an ankle breaker, it's worth celebrating. And it's bad if you just think of it practically, ankle breakers give you an opportunity to get an open bucket. And if you get less of those, it might've been a pretty big nerf to playmakers as a whole, especially those that enjoy isolation dribbling. I don't know, I, I am not a playmaker, so I do not care. That being said, that is all the information we have on NBA 2K19 as of now. Of course, there's gonna be some more leaks that come out, and when they do, bro, I'm gonna be on it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I'm sweating like crazy. Yeah, they're gonna point that out, huh?